Hello everybody, this is TechStack here, and welcome back to Modded Minecraft Inventions, Episode 3. Uh, today I'm going to be showing off my system that tracks quantity on hand for each individual item that you put into the system. Um, let's go ahead and start up this uh, demonstration quarry here. Uh, just a series of chests that uh, gets pulled every few seconds that uh, simulates a quarry setup. Um, it feeds into an inner chest, just like your quarry uh, typically does, and it sorts the items out. Um, you can have up to five items per color in the sorting machine here and those get fed off into individual sorting machines. Those individual sorting machines narrow down the items to one item per pneumatic tube per turtle so that the turtle knows exactly what he's keeping track of. Um, this turtle here is my cobblestone turtle as you can see. Um, he currently has an ID of 5 which is kind of insignificant but it helps when setting it up. Um, his inventory is 750 right now, that's how many he has here internally, and in his chest he has 1152. If we take a look at that, you can see that there is items in his chest. As he continues to fill up here, he will hit a threshold where he says, okay, I'm full enough, I should make a move and deposit some of these items in the chest. Um, he will do that momentarily here. Um, as you can see here, here's my secondary turtle. He's got sandstone, and then my third turtle in this uh, demonstration system has dirt in it. Um, this turtle here should be getting close to crossing that threshold. Just wait one more second. There he goes. And he's depositing additional uh, cobblestone into the chest to ensure that he, his uh, internal inventory doesn't overflow. So let's go over here and take a look at this system, uh, this part of the setup now. Um, as you can see, there is uh, a display here that uh, shows off the IDs of each turtle, the item that the, uh, the turtle tracks, and then the quantity on hand for each. Uh, item. Um, it pulls the turtles about every five seconds, so it's not constantly updated, but it's updated enough that you would uh, be able to walk by it and see that, hey, I found 10 more diamonds, for example. Um, the system does allow for remote access into this, so that you could bury this underground or put it under some somewhat remote system, as long as it's within distance of the wireless redstone uh, or the wireless uh, red net. Let's go ahead and go into the controlling computer here. Uh, and request a stack of cobblestone from the system. I do that. You can see my turtle move back to that secondary uh, ender chest there. That's color coded with this, and he's deposited cobblestone. Let's go ahead and clear out this ender chest and request a secondary item. Let's do number 12 there, the dirt. My dirt turtle moved back, and you can see he now has deplaced uh, dirt into the ender chest. Very simple setup. Um, has worked very reliably for me. Um, about the only change that I need to be doing to this is setting up uh, fuel for these guys. Um, it's very easy to use something like a um, uh, charging station for the turtles. Uh, that's a possibility. I think in my world I probably will just use ender chest full of charcoal um, and then feed this ender chest with charcoal from a, a, a tree farm really. Uh, just need to code that piece of the the turtle's logic in there to check, you know, if he has a low fuel level to go ahead and pull coal uh, from it. But other than that, this system is up and running, um, working quite well, I might say. Uh, it's fairly straightforward and simple to set up. Each one of these turtles is running the same set of code. He, the only difference that they have is two files. There's an items file and a count file. The count file tracks how many items that are in the chest. So in this guy's case, he would have 1666 stored in that file. The other file says the name of the item that he's tracking, and that's just for ease of use and displaying on the, the system over here. Um, when this computer starts up, he pulls a range of uh, turtle IDs um, that you specify in his programming logic, um, so 5, 9, and 12 in this case, and he'll pull them and say, what do you have? And number 5 responds back says, I have cobblestone then it stores in the memory in this computer. Number 9 responds back, I have sandstone, 12 dirt, etc. Um, and then it goes into a bit of a loop where it's just pulling those uh, turtles that it has in its uh, memory and registered with it and s says, how many do you have on hand? And it does that about every five seconds so that uh, we can update this display. Um, that's about it. Uh, really simple setup. Um, once you get the programming in done on it, um, I plan on sharing all the code uh, on my website, which will be linked in the video description. Um, just need to do some minor changes for the uh, coal, like I said. Um, but yeah, uh, this is TechStack. 
this is, uh, I guess, version 3 of my remote item on demand system. Um, but I like to probably call it uh, inventory tracking because it's, it's, it's much more than remote item on demand. That original system didn't have any clue how many items it had in its system and it can cause some issues. So this is a, a much improved version of that. Anyway, this is Tech Stack signing off. Have a good day. And this is my Let's Play series using the Feed the Beast uh, mod loader. And we are playing on the Dire Wolf 20 pack cobblestone walls number four there. Hit enter. He sends the commands over to the turtle, and he's already off going to select our item. As you can see, the outside really hasn't changed very much, um, but the inside has. Um, I've been working on creating uh, additional levels here, um, and I've got a glassed off area there that is going to be 